everybody to the late, late, mid, early 1700 show. We today we have three guests from the Seven Years' War. We have Siraj Udala, Earl of Chatham, and Louis the Fifteenth. Okay, so we have to welcome our first guest, um, who is um who uh, first defended in the Fifteen Years' War in the later years, and also has a worth. It also has a hat worth insulting. Siraj Udala. Hello. Hello. You're Indian. I am Indian. I am not Native American, though. He is not American. American. He's not a Native, a Native American Indian. He's from the Indians from India, which doesn't really have significant influence in the war, except for the later year when an event called the Black Hole of Calcutta, which we will learn about later. Hopefully. Okay. So, well, Mr. McCaskill, we better learn about it. So, um, you got involved in the war. For one of the most ridiculous reasons I've ever heard in my life. And what was that reason? You insulted my hat. Do you see this sexy piece of broken hat? Do you see this? Yes, I Are do. you witnessing this amazing hat? Well, it's worth insulting. It looks awful! <laughs> ha! Hater! Ah, haters don't appreciate what what? So. Um, so... Yeah, and you fought against Robert Drake, um, from, um, England, is that correct, England? Yes. Yes. Okay. Come um, on, James, you're supposed to know this stuff. Are you kidding, Mr. Odomite? Please be more professional. Was that in the script? Okay, then. So, he fought against you from an army with 500, and you have an army of 30,000. Yes. 30,000 people against the 500. Well, he should have expected that because he comes from India, and there's a bunch of Indians around him. Wow, that wasn't racist at all. You said that's not what everybody said. So let's get to the to the main reason why here. Um, why do you think you won the war? Uh, well, I mean, we beat the British, who conquered the French. So obviously, that means that we conquered the British and the French. We got. The Brits and Lay French scumbags. Okay. So we had you heard it here, folks. He thought he won the war. But we have two more different guests who have two more different accounts. So we'll see so we'll see you after this commercial break. Where we'll bring you back Earl of Chatham. Here. Oh, here we TV show. My name is Earl of Chatham. My name is Earl. Oh um, no, we, we don't we don't do that here. So, you were one of the lead generals of the British Army in trying to conquer the Americas from France, correct? Yes, I was. Um, but you were slightly outnumbered because of the multiple Native American tribe, the the multiple the multiple Native American tribes that wanted you dead. Yes, they did. Well, yes, of course, you kind of conquered their land, took it away from them, um, killed a lot of them by smallpox, which we'll talk about later, or earlier, later. <laughs> so, um, you, um, you kind of helped start, um, uh, one of the most important battles of, um, the 1700s, um, the Black Hole of Calcutta in India. Yeah, and? Well... Actually, it's one of the most important battles, the one, um, the thing that most goes into people's mind when they're talking about the French and Indian War. It was one of the most devastating of times. It was one of the, it was one of the worst of times when, um, when um, you fought, when you fought against the um, the Indian army of three to thirty thousand, with an army of a measly five hundred. Um, why didn't you come more prepared? 
So, you came in to India with 500 men. Except you didn't expect the fact that Indians came in with 30,000 men. Why do you think you could beat the whole of India, basically, with only a measly 500 people? Well, obviously, the Europeans, us Europeans, are the best race in the world. Well, I think that's an awful reason why you should have done that, and you should have came more prepared. But that's why we have history lessons, like right now. So, basically what I'm trying to ask you is... So, Mr. Earl of Chatham, what did you guys, what did the Europeans actually get from the war? Specifically the Englishmen. Well, I got America, genius. Well, I guess that's implied. Um, yeah, we well, got America, but at a severe cost. All the money you lost was astronomical. It's worth, um, it's worth 17 million dollars in, in, in today's cash. So, you basically had to get that from, of course, the colonists, right? Yes. Which kind of fueled the American Revolution, which is going to be our next topic on the show. So, um, the American Revolution, that happened. So, do you guys actually think you won the war? Yes, I do. Well, you heard it here, folks. He also thinks he won the war. Stay tuned next time when we have Louis the Fifteenth, King of King of France. Action! Man, we need some five-hour energy. Thank you. of America, all you got was um, French Canadians, um, you got Louisiana, um, so that's why they have French Louisiana, um, Louisiana French, and also have French Canadian, you know, um, in Quebec, correct? Yes. So, why do you think you won the French and Indian War? Because me and my army took over Louisiana, and Louisiana ended up being a huge cash crop after we sold it to the colonists. Well, guys, you heard, you heard it here first. Louis the Fifteenth thinks he won the war. Swazi Dahl also thought he w he won the war, and Earl of Chapman thought he won the war too. Well, it seems to hear folks that we still have some discussion to do. Go to the comment section and comment who you th who you think won the war. Thank you, and we'll see you later, everybody.